Dear job seekers, are you looking for a professional job in Canada? Are you wondering what are the options for your career transition? Are you ready to connect directly with employers and service providers to expand your network and fast track your career in Canada? Welcome to GTAX National Virtual Career Expo. It is Canada's largest online talent attraction and job fair, and it is all about job opportunities, networking, and career options. The VCE is life, allowing you to pitch your qualifications, ask questions, get direct answers, and most importantly, get hired. The VCE is digital, you can join from anywhere, anytime. The VCE is national, there are employers and service providers across Canada to find and attract talent. Registration is completely free. We also offer free pre-event support, including VCE, how-to webinars, to prepare you for a more productive VCE experience. With GTAC and the National Virtual Career Expo, you're one click away from your dream job. Register now. Based on our decades experience serving internationally trained professionals, together with our partners, GTAC is proud to offer career-focused trainings. The goal of those trainings is to help skilled workers stay abreast of the latest and emerging labor market demands in Canada, explore career options and the pros and cons, expand your professional networks and therefore make informed decisions and fast-track your career. Different from academic trainings, there are three key features of GTAC's career-focused trainings that you can benefit from. 1. The trainings are all designed by industry insiders, along with inputs and feedbacks from hiring employers we worked with, and, delivered by experienced industry experts. 2. The training contents are focused more on case studies and practical tips and tactics, not on theories. As a result, Yes. Uh, good morning, Tar uh, Tarani. Is it Tarani? Sorry, I was on mute. Good morning. Good morning. Good, 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 good. Okay, so uh, we we are actually going to put the uh, uh, the slides in the main screen. Uh, okay. Can the tech team please uh, share the screen of the slides, please? 
And then later on, we, we are going to pass the, when, when I say the mic is yours, that's when we're going to pass the control to you. And then you, you, you will have the control of the slides. Basically, you put your mouse over the screen and just okay. click or put your mouse over the screen and then just uh, press <coughs> the uh, left or right button on your uh, keyboard. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. pretty, uh, pretty simple, but don't, don't worry too, too, too much about it. Now it is, I guess it is almost uh, 10 a.m. where you are. Uh, yes, it's 9.56. Mm -hmm. You're in uh, Moncton or Frederick? Yes, we are in Moncton. Moncton. I'm in okay. Moncton, actually. Okay, okay. We, we met before, right, Tarani? Yes, we did, okay. we did, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Good, so uh, can... Um... Shao, is, um, I share the screen or you share the screen? No, you go ahead and share the screen, please. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, all the listeners out there, please let us know as usual. Let us know where you're listening from and whether if you, this is your first time uh, listening uh, to our uh, webinar. Because <laughs> today is, uh, is actually a very, very uh, relevant information. There's going to be a lot, a lot of very, very important information about... Um, a career in the healthcare sector here uh, in uh, that can be offered by a Horizon Health Network. So, good. Thank you. Thank you, so So I'm. So I. I have the control first. Thank you. Um, yes, you have. You can control. You can try it right now. Okay. You can try you move your mouse if it works. Yeah. It works. It works, but uh, I didn't find it removed the next slides. I, I cannot move to the next slide yet. So oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, oh. good. Yeah, okay, it works. Good. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So Tarani, as you can see, I just put my mouse over the screen okay. and I press because I have the control. Later on, we're gonna pass the control to you. Okay. And you just have to put your mouse over the screen and click. Okay. Okay, got it. Or or just move the left right uh, arrow uh -huh. button on your keyboard. Okay. Yeah. So we will start in two minutes. For mm -hmm. all of you that's listening right now, please by all means put your questions in the chat box, and we will get to your Q and A sessions um, uh, after the presentation. Please. Please do not put any personal information in the chat box, please. Okay, because whatever you you put in the chat box can be viewed by everybody. So please do not try to avoid putting any personal information in the chat box in your questions. Okay, and Tarani, I think I asked you this before, right? Uh, yeah. Est-ce que vous parlez français, uh, Tarani? No, I only speak in English. Okay. Okay. Good. But of course, you speak other language, right? Uh, other than uh, no, no. Uh, other, than, language, other than the two other official languages, right? Uh, my mother tongue, okay. not anything okay. else. That's fine. Okay. Uh, well, you'll be surprised how many because there are people from all over the world. So you'll be surprised, you know. Oh, yeah. We have so many people say hi to us already. Yeah, cool. I can see. Yes. Yeah. I can see uh, a huge demand uh, coming towards Canada these days. Yes. It's good. Yes. To, uh, exactly in healthcare sector. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, monsieur. Yeah, beaucoup de questions. C'est bon? Oui. Si vous pouvez mettre votre question en anglais, si vous pouvez dans le chat pour. Okay. Et uh, encore désolé, notre présentation aujourd'hui, c'est seulement en anglais. So, so, uh, well, it is 9 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Shaw Kwan. I am the VP for Global um, Outreach at GTAC. Thank you once again for joining our, join our weekly Media Employer uh, webinar today, live webinar today. And today we have um, very, very, very relevant uh, information. And this is something that's very, very urgently needed is to talk about the healthcare worker uh, professions here in Canada. And it will be presented by Horizon Health Network. And representing Horizon Health Network is Tarani. Now, 
I, listen, my 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 tongue doesn't roll well. So every time when I see Pereira, blah, 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 like even when I speak French, <laughs> it's very, very <laughs> yeah. So I I, I don't want to. I will let you do that later. So uh, Tarani uh, Pereira is a talent acquisition specialist with um, Horizon Health, and she'll be doing a presentation. So before we get to the presentation, as usual, I just want to go through very very quickly about who we are and what we do. GTAC, which stands for Global Talent Alliance Canada. We are definitely your link to all the employers, all the various municipalities, all the various uh, uh, organizations or uh, provincial governments here for all the newcomers that have already landed in Canada or across Canada, or to people that's listening uh, abroad right now that have already received your documents, your PR or your work permit or your student permit, um, whatever documents that you receive that you're, you're, pl- you're making your way to come to Canada. And of course, for all of you that's sitting out there uh, that's thinking about immigrating to Canada, uh, such as finding work, uh, that you could be in express entry or uh, you could be in uh, uh, various other group, okay? Now, I do want to mention this because uh, in our previous webinar, I, I see that there's a lot of people talk about uh, asking questions relating to immigration. So I just want you to know is... Um, GTAC is not a it's not a certified immigration consulting company. We do not offer any advice because that is that is a job for the professional immigration consultant. And uh, I'm not sure how much uh, Tarani can uh, offer, but I don't think you are a certified immigration consultant as well, right? Yeah, so, yeah, same. Yeah. same. So, I'm not, but I can give a piece of advice, not much. Okay, yeah, okay. So she can she can uh, give you some advice, but but and I, <laughs> I want to stress is uh, please consult with an uh, uh, official certified immigration consultant here or an immigration lawyer here in Canada, okay? Yeah. Now, uh, you can see, uh, much like this webinar, you'll see that we our webinar uh, covers a wide array of subjects. Mostly, it's always related to your employment needs. Uh, we have webinars on resume clinic, on interview skills, how to build your LinkedIn profile, so make an employer notice you, uh, how to find a hidden job market, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we also provide careers focused training, which I'm just going to talk a little bit more about that later. And finally, uh, uh, we have this uh, media employer every Thursday, media employer session, uh, where you're going to meet with employer and, and listen to some of the jobs that they are going to talk about that they currently offer. So all these are very, you're very, very privileged because you get to hear these jobs for the first time here through our digital platform, GTAX digital platform. And finally, we certainly host the Canada's largest online job fair twice a year. The last time was in April, April 5th and 6th, and the next one will be on September 27th and 28th. I'm just gonna, I'll talk a little bit more. There's a slide about that later. So um, uh, since 2016, our digital platform has offered over 600 live webinar, and every one of them, every one of them, for those of you that's listening right now, you will know it's all free. There's no charge for listener to register for our webinar. And for a very, very small investment on your part, you will get to, uh, you're able to take our training classes. This accounting class is been, I would say it's been continuous running since 2010. And uh, the instructors are all charter professional accountants. Uh, so, and most of all is they're all immigrants. So at one point they were in your shoes. So while they are teaching you all about accounting, the practical needs of accounting or finance career here in Canada, you can also talk to them about their struggles or their experience and how they, uh, the, all, the, all the obstacles they encounter as a newcomer. And of course, uh, how they conquer those new uh, uh, challenges and obviously and flourish and establish a very, very successful career as a CPA here in Canada. Okay, uh, of course, I'm a Tarani. I'm sure you can offer some. You were not born here, right, Tarani? No. 
Yeah. So I'm, it, it, I'm an I'm itself an immigrant. I came uh, last December to Canada. So oh, I really? know, yeah, I know how uh, this process is going on. The, the and, struggles. Yeah, maybe you can share yeah. some of those, uh, some of the challenges and how you conquered them when you uh, talk about yeah. it a little bit later. Okay. Yes, so exactly. uh, we'll. We also have another very, very popular course. It's a, a cybersecurity fundamental course. This is a very, very popular. And the instructor has over, over 25 years of experience and knows very, very well in terms of cybersecurity uh, for your industry here in Canada. So for any one of you that's interested in any of our uh, upcoming training courses, by all means, get in touch with Song Guo at song.g at g-tac.ca. Now, I will type uh, the contact information in the chat box later. And I also urge every one of you to follow GTAC's LinkedIn uh, page. Uh, it, if you just go to LinkedIn and type in Global Talent Alliance Canada, I'll put in the link uh, in the uh, chat box later. Please follow us on LinkedIn because that's where you're going to get the latest information, latest information on upcoming uh, webinars, latest information on upcoming events, latest information on some very special uh, exclusive recruiting events by employers here in Canada. And of course, very latest information on uh, jobs. For example, right now we are searching for a high power uh, analog IC design engineer. So this is a very, very well-paid job. Uh, and uh, of course, if you qualify, even if you're not in Canada, the employer is ready to sponsor you to come to Canada, okay? So we can talk a little bit more about that later, or you can put your questions in the, um, in the chat box. And this is a very, very, we, we, um, we have one very, very successful uh, cohort in June, and we'll be, uh, have a new session coming soon. So by all means, as soon as a date is an, uh, it's confirmed, we will announce it in our LinkedIn page. So please follow us on our LinkedIn page, okay? This is a talk about occupational skills refresher for personal support workers here in Canada. And the instructor, just amazing, amazing. This is very, very knowledgeable. And finally, of course, these are some of the uh, webinar upcoming, English webinar upcoming in July, uh, Invest Ottawa. July 26, uh, 21st, July 26 is Jumpstart Your Accounting Profession in Canada. This is done by one of our instructors for the accounting training class. And uh, she's uh, she'll be able to share with you uh, about every, anything and everything that you need to know about the course. And of course, uh, what are the uh, benefits after taking the course? And finally, on July 28th, we also have mining industry HR coming. So all of you that's in mining sector, or mining professions, by all means, tune in to that, register for that. And as you all know, all registration are free for the, our listeners all around the world. So, and our 12th National Virtual Career Expo is coming up on September 27th and 28th. Uh, and your registration is open right now. Go to g-tac-expo.com. So I, I, I'm going to, uh, I, I will... Uh, share the uh, the the registration site uh, in the chat box as well so and of course it's absolutely free um and i hope we hope that a new horizon will be there as well so if you guys uh, uh have more questions you know certainly if you haven't had a chance to ask the questions or uh, or, or throughout the contact information i will strongly advise you to register and come on september 27 and 28 and hopefully talk to, uh, I'm not sure if Tarani will be available, but hopefully somebody be. from New Horizon will be available. Okay. So without further ado, now I'm going to pass the control to you. So what you need to do is um, just put your mouse over the screen and click to see if you can change the slide. The minute you can change the slide, you can start. Okay. No, I cannot change. I click. Okay. Hold, hold, hold on. There's a slight delay. Yeah. I did. Okay. Uh, uh, tech, tech team, can you please pass control to Tarani? Yes, yes, wait a moment. Okay, wait a moment. Yeah. Uh, I passed. Yeah, can you try it right now? You can. Perfect. Yes, yes, okay. I can. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. 
uh, oh, here is Tarani. So Tarani, the mic is yours. Are you going to, are you moving forward? You have to go back. Yeah. Oops. Uh -oh. I think when I click it, went back. It was okay. very fast. We're going to try it again. Uh, Song, can you please go to the, her first slide, please? Okay, yes, okay. please. Right. I will yeah. start there, 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 there. No, 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 not the, the, you. You, no, there. No. Hey, you. <laughs> oh, you so fast. Oh. Actually, it's a very small presentation. Please, I want please, to give you. I... Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. This is fine. Okay. Okay. So, Tarani, whenever you are, uh, whenever you're ready, you can start. Yeah, I am ready. I can. Uh, welcome. Uh, you all to Horizon Health Network. Uh, we are the largest health network in New Brunswick province, and we are the second largest in uh, Atlantic provinces. The pro this province boasts like five major regional hospitals, and we have 100 medical centers all over our New Brunswick province. This is little like short brief about Horizon Health Network. And let me go to the next slide. Yeah, this is our province in Canada. We are serving two thirds of the province. I will talk about careers. Uh, a career for everyone and Horizon has more than 100 classification of jobs here in uh, Horizon itself and Main jobs are regulated professions like nurses, physicians, allied health technicians. And for more information reg regarding the regulated professions, I advise all of you to follow the regulated body so you will get understanding how you will register for license in the province. Once you have the license in the province, it's very easy for you to immigrate to this part. You can directly apply to Horizon if you have the license, valid license from the province, and we can support you uh, through immigration piece. But you have to have a registered license in the province. The unregulated province, whoever in the uh, New Brunswick or in Canada, uh, you can go to our career site. It's mentioned here, my Horizon career, and I will uh, share the email addresses and our career sites link uh, in the chat box after my presentation. So you can apply uh, uh, through our website and to our career inbox. So we are closely monitoring uh, our career inbox and the applications that we are receiving. Within one or two day, most of the time, you will get a reply from one of our talent acquisition specialists. In unregulated profession, if I speaking, those are like uh, housekeeping positions, environmental service, and executive assistants, uh, porters. Those are the positions that we have in unregulated. But more, we are giving more priority on regulated professions like nurses, doctors, and allied health technicians. We have a program, a special program introduced by the province last year. It's International Educated Nurses Program and it's a regulated profession. If you have registered in New Brunswick Nursing Association in the province, if you have the license, you can contact me. I will put my email address down after the presentation. Then after the, after the interview from our hospital, we can support you to come here with the immigration because of this program. But for that, you should have New Brunswick registered nurse license. Um, if you have already received provincial nomination, but you're an inter international educated nurse, you can join with us as a patient care attendant. But for the patient care attendants, I'm not supporting uh, for the immigration. If they have an NB license only, I can support through the immigration. That's the advice for the immigration part for international educated nurses. And in this program, I will share the government email address with you. They are supporting you uh, through the certain amount of reimbursement, whatever the you incurred for your licensing process. And they are providing you settlement services and the pre-advice how to do 
you are racing license here in New Brunswick. My next slide. It's, it's not moving. These are the unregulated current positions that we have. Support service, food services, portraying and environmental services like housekeeping, patient care attendance. You can come through international educated program if you are already in Canada and you want to apply for this program and you want to get PR uh, through this program, we can help you but you should be in Canada. If you're outside Canada, I cannot uh, help you through this program. If you're outside Canada, if you have the NNB registration, yes, please reach to me. I can uh, do interview and uh, provide you the immigration support. But most of the time I am encouraging, you should be a bilingual or English speaker. Only French speaking uh, candidates I cannot uh, encourage you to apply for this program because we are our hospital is bilingual and our working language is English. Administrative support, we have clinical and non-clinical positions, clinical like nursing clerk positions we do have, they should have background of uh, nursing. This is our website. You can go to our website and follow the, uh, whatever the positions that we are advertising. We are changing the positions every day and we are monitoring our website, uh, the responses through the website and we are, uh, all our talent acquisition specialists are engaging through the website and career inbox and we are replying within one or two day maximum, whatever the request you are sending to us. Uh, so, this is about my presentation. I can see in the chat box, like lots of people are uh, messaging that they're from Morocco, Nigeria. Uh, so these are my, these are my email address. I will put it in chat box. Yes, please put that in chat yeah, box. And this then is uh, people can the main, with, and also uh, put your, put your um, uh, official website. Yes, sure. Oh no. Oh no, uh, Tarani, you have to put select to everyone, not to host and panelists. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I did, I did. This is yeah. the IE navigation program email address. If anyone interested, uh, internationally educated nurses program need to get information. Uh, this IE navigation program is issuing uh, provincial nominations uh, through the nom uh, New Brunswick province for internationally educated nurses. If they have uh, done their uh, educational assessment and uh, their English language testing, they can apply through this program. They have to register in that place. At the same time, I will share my email address also, but I'm only uh, responding the people who are relevant uh, to my uh, category, international educated nurses program. So if you are an, uh, if you are not a regulated uh, uh, licensed professional in uh, uh, New Brunswick, I, I highly advise you to apply through the careers uh, inbox. Then it will go to uh, my colleagues who are responsible for your job, your position. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just I, I don't know. I mean, do, do you want to do a quick navigation through the your website? Do you want to do that? Yeah, I can do that. Just give okay. me a second. I will open okay. that. Yeah. Hey, so let uh, is... Tirani uh, share her screen, please. Yeah, I need to. Okay, I'll stop the, the share. The... There you go. Yes. Just give me a second. Okay. I need to open okay. my website. I have opened lots of emails in my. Wait, there's a lot of questions. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see. <laughs> yeah, this don't worry about it. I, I will uh, go through the questions for you. I'll read the questions to you and then you can answer them. Yes, if, if, uh, yeah, it is, I think if it is relevant possible uh, question, I can certainly answer, but if it is not relevant, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, this is our career site. Let me share my screen. Share your screen, yes. 
I can yeah. do a quick navigation through it. Yeah. Yeah. How? Share screen. Okay. Can you see? Can you all see our website? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is our career site, Horizon and B Careers. I will share the link also in the uh, inbox later on. And you can see we uh, Horizon Health Network recruitment process, referral award, uh, how physician can apply. And we do have education placement programs who are currently living in Canada and who are doing uh, studies in Canada in related to healthcare. They can uh, register through this educational placement program to get their perceptorships done. And okay. the confer conferences and online learning opportunities. So this is, you can, if you click this apply now, it will go to our career inbox. And I will click here the careers. Yeah, you, you have to do a little bit slower, okay? Because right oh, now it's- I'm yeah, just it's trying going, to yeah. go to our, can you see it? Yes, yes, we can see, but I'm just worried for people that's outside of Canada, right? They, yes, can yeah. they see it? No, they can see, but just, yeah, you can do a little bit slower. That's it, perfect. Okay, okay. This is the site. So when they go, they can uh, see the nursing. They can click nursing. If there are positions, they can click positions. Uh, and leaders in health gets, most of the time we are looking for the candidates who are currently living in Canada with the experience. So if I click nursing, yes. it will... We are looking for nurses to call. Can you hear? Sean, can you yes. hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. It's loading. The side is loading. Yes. I, I guess a lot, a lot of people that's listening right now is probably uh, visiting your site right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we cannot see it. It's loading, yeah. I guess. So we are looking for nurses to call New Brunswick home. We are inviting all the nurses who are living in uh, Canada itself uh, to reach us if they're interested to relocate to this beautiful province. And whoever relocating from another provinces to uh, our hospital, we mm -hmm. are giving uh, uh, incentives, uh, like they can earn up to $20,000. If Whoa. they're eligible for the position. Wow. Yes. Wow. It's, it's, yeah. they, they can see lots of uh, um, uh, information going through our social network related to uh, this uh, program because mm -hmm. Brunswick need a lot of nurses. We are in need. Okay. Uh, but so I do have a question. That's why we are giving this attractive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Tarani, I do have a quick question though, but uh, like, for example, if you do get yeah. bonuses and uh, have them uh, come to New Brunswick and work for uh, new, new uh, from uh, Horizon Health, I'm just wondering, do they, yeah. are they, do they need to sign some kind of contract that they must stay yes. like work for yes. minimum? Are they, what is it? Three years. They should okay. uh, sign three years return on, uh, return on service agreement. Yes. based on the bonus that they're receiving yes okay and do they have to stay in one city or one facility in no new they can they can move in the new within the new brunswick they can move if they want to go to fredericton uh, moncton st john miramichi so they can move how many locations does the new horizon manage in your network we do have everywhere the hospitals in New Brunswick, but major hospitals are in Predicton, Miramichi, Moncton, uh, St. John, and Upper River Valley. Okay. And we have everywhere, everywhere. We have covered all the province with 100 yes. medical facilities, around wow. 100 clinics. Yes. And, and uh, what about French? Just wondering, is this, is this site available in French? Because there are quite a few I think uh, French so, listeners. Yes. Yes, there is a French. Uh, they can change it uh, in the uh, site itself, but I can only uh, do right now in English. If I okay. change it, I cannot see anything. <laughs> I don't okay. know anything. In now, French. I'm going to ask you this question. It's very, very, um, 
<clears throat> very, very, uh, I'm going to put you on the spot, okay, Tarani? <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, and, and answer if you can. If you're not, then that's fine. Is if I'm a bilingual, fluently bilingual uh, health professional, okay. what stream should I apply that I will get a better chance of getting a job? Yeah, through English probably, or through French? English is better because our working language is English. If you're fully bilingual, it doesn't matter. You can send your CV in English because our tasks are, uh, they are used to work in English language. But if you're bilingual, we have a lot of candidates who came from Cameroon. They can speak two languages uh, fluently, fluently. So we have hired them. So they are in the process because I told you, we do have this IE navigation program conducting through the province. They are offering candidates, even they speak in French only because we do have a hospital, another hospital in province that is only speaking in French, only working language is in French. So the yeah. province is inviting all equally. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sorry, what's I'm not free? really well today. <laughs> Okay, well, well, no, you sound, you sound okay, but we're we'll, we'll trying to keep you going for another half an hour before. <laughs> yeah, okay, but you know what's really funny is that you actually say something that's interesting, which I just realized recently is that Cameroon, uh, Cameroon, the, 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 like the population that can speak English or French is quite high, and yes. they're actually one of the highest educated uh, country in Africa. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Interesting. <laughs> I received lots of candidates from then. Yeah. I, I did interview with them. They're, very, they're speaking English very well and their, their French knowledge also high because I don't know, I have the certificate from them. So through that, I saw that they have high level of uh, speaking uh, and uh, listening and other things in French as well. Okay. And then we, have, we actually have a question uh, from Eugenie. C'est pas possible, donc en français, c'est qu'il possible do I on suivre on the odd Quebec? Was that recruited dans votre structure or Nouveau Brunswick? That's a question from Eugenie. Uh, basic, a rough translation is what are the procedures for people? Well, she says outside of Quebec, but the, just say say outside of Canada. What are what are your uh, recruiting procedures for somebody that applied from outside of Canada? If they are, uh, are they nurse? Is she a nurse? Uh, Eugenie, uh, yeah, please let us know your situation more so that Tarani can answer your question better. Yeah, you can put it in the chat box, okay, Eugenie? Yeah. Like, what is your certain, uh, current situation? No, Where will, are you situated? I will speak for this question generally, uh, show. Yeah. So if they are a, a candidate who are outside Canada, I highly advise them to do their educational assessment and uh, do their English testing up to date and key, uh, prepare their express entry profile and have a profile in New Brunswick because we are frequently con conducting uh, uh, virtual uh, career fairs and we are sending invitations to the candidates uh, uh, according to our high demand positions. One of the position is uh, uh, nursing. So you can register with the province itself uh, to get a uh, chance to come here. Uh, as an employer, I can help you if you have NANB registration. Like we do have a nursing, anyone who's working in any country, they should have a license to practice in that country, specific country. So yeah. same like us, we, uh, same, uh, same parties apply to us also. So mm -hmm. our regulated body is here in uh, the province is New Brunswick Nursing Association. If you have a license from New Brunswick Nursing Association, you can directly reach to me. I will help you to come here uh, and I can help you through the immigration part as well. But you should have a license from NANB. If not, okay. I cannot support you. Now, here's, here's a question. Are there any um, agreements with other countries where, where you guys actually recognize the license? For example, for example, mm -hmm. uh, say uh, somebody that's currently working in the US or currently working in, the, in uh, Australia or 
or no. uh, Great UK? No, is there, only, is the, there... only the uh, show, only the thing, uh, if they're a nurse working in the US, they might pass their NCLEX exam. So that piece is helpful for them to exempt examination because you, NCLEX exam is universally uh, accepted because of that, they can exempt it, but they have to do before, uh, prior to register in NANB, they have to do their NNAs uh, registration. NNA is that they are checking their previous education, international education is equivalent to Canadian standards. Mm -hmm. Based on that, only they will tell candidate to do some education or to challenge the NCLEX. If they already passed the NCLEX, they will issue the license. I see. But we are not uh, getting anyone who has UK or Australia or USA license candidate uh, to the system. But I think the province is adapting some challenges. Like we have some challenges uh, to get the license. So now province is uh, having, uh, going through a pilot program. I don't have much information about that. So I cannot disclose anything, but in future yeah. we will know what uh, maybe they will give the chances to the other countries who have license, they can come here and work. Yeah, well, you know what, uh, but let's, 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 <laughs> let's, be, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, countries like UK, Australia, they're also facing their shortage, okay? I know. <laughs> or the US, you know? Yeah, US has huge demand now, I know. Let me, I know. No, let me give you a little- Because of the COVID. Yeah, let me give you a little small piece of a trivia here. The requirement in two states, Michigan and, and Wisconsin, the requirement in those two states are equivalent to the entire Canada for like, you know, the personal support worker. Oh, oh just just to give you some idea. Well, because the, the, those two states alone has, what is it, 60 million people? Or oh, anyway, it's, it's like, oh, you know, yes. It's, yeah, yes, or 50, whatever. Answer. Yeah. So just just to give you some, you know, like a little little insight. Okay. <laughs> then what about us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now there's a question from Gloria, and this one it's not really related to you, Tarani. Well, mm -hmm. kind of, but I'm gonna I'm gonna ask I'm gonna read out the questions. Yes. And please. I am going to I am going to let Tarani answer that question first, and then I'll answer it later. Okay. Here's a question from Gloria. I'm a registered nurse, RN, by profession, and work four years. I have been joining your various Zoom. I, I assume she meant our live webinar. Yeah, be nice, not yeah. a single time that I have get a chance of getting job. Please, can you help me find one even caregiver job? So this is a question from Gloria. Do you have anything to add to that, uh, Tarani? Yeah, Gloria, I will tell you to do uh, your educational assessment and your IELTS and register through our IEN program in the province. Uh, and you can send certainly send me your CV also, then I can uh, divert you to the IEN program whenever they are doing uh, frequent webinars and uh, career fairs, you have a chance to get provincial nomination. But as of now, if you don't have registration, as I told initially, I cannot support you through the immigration piece. But if you have done your NNAs and registered in NANB, certainly I can support you to get the job here and go through the PR process. Thank you, Tarani. Now, here's a question, official question, uh, official answer from GTAC, Gloria. Yeah. As I mentioned earlier, we are a platform provider we have a platform we facilitate to have various community partners, uh, uh, municipal governments, provincial governments, uh, private sector such as um, Horizon Health to come and talk about what their needs are. We are not, uh, we, 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 these, this, these webinar, it's meant for you information for you about various jobs. So uh, like for example, when Horizon Health is presenting, it's Horizon Health that's doing the hiring, not yes. GTAC. <laughs> okay. So I can understand. Right. So most of so, the time they are mixing up the things. That's the case because yeah, they, they're outside they the Canada. They don't know how it's going on. Yeah. Uh, here's a question. I am yeah. a midwife. Uh, 
I, I guess I guess that this is from Galaxy A twenty one S. Okay, so uh, I'm a midwife. Can me can I go to Canada? Well, let's just say midwife. What, what's the uh, what's the uh, demand for midwife? Oh, first midwife of all, midwife also coming under nursing. So okay, but they have does done... New Brunswick recognize midwife profession. Yes, yes, okay. we do have. Okay, so she can she can apply as a nurse. Okay, as a nurse. Yeah, as I told, initially the process, that's the process for her as well. Okay, good, good, good. We do now, have some... lots of midwives came through Nigeria. Yes. So they, they're the, yes, they're the one working in Nigeria. They have, uh, the, they have a course for the midwife as well. Yeah, okay. There's some questions that's not related to your profession, but related to accounting. And also there's another one from someone from Lahore, Pakistan. That I'm an I'm a IT professional graduate from Staffordshire University in the UK uh, with 15 oh. years of experience. The, uh, the answer, that, the short answer to your question, Harum, is yes, there are employers that do that. And this is where our domain comes in. It's a, uh, especially I me think. and my team, we work a lot with some of the uh, Oh, IT company here in Canada. So the answer is yes. So I would strongly suggest that Harum, please, uh, uh, the, I'm going to sh share the, uh, oh, I'll, I'll do that later. I'll share the, uh, uh, the contact information for us so you can get in touch with us and send us your resume and so that we, we can take a look at it. Okay. Um, so how can I get a job offer? Of, uh, I'm uh, from Nigeria as an international educated nurse. And how can I get a job in Canada? So I think you just mentioned that earlier, right, Tarani? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about social workers? The same. Social workers have to register in the regulated um, uh, body in uh, New Brunswick so they can get the license. And the same process, we can, uh, they can apply with the license to our hospital. We will support the, through the immigration piece. Okay. And what's the best way to apply for jobs? Go to your website? Yes. Go, uh, go to our website, as I mentioned here. And there is a career inbox. And there are things that we need resume and cover letter, including brief summary and top three preferences of employment, like location, unit and facility, mm. and the three references we need, as mentioned here. Okay. And for those of you that's currently living in Francophone countries, such as Algeria, Tunisia, even somewhat like Cameroon, mm. um, Burkina Faso, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, Congo, like a lot of these uh, Francophone countries, is um, when you do these reference letters, try to have do them in translated in English. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Even okay. their CV, I'm receiving it in French. I, I, I'm really struggling to translate into the uh, English because it's not giving me uh, right answers. So better yeah, but, to have English, French, both uh, CVs with you and mm -hmm. uh, mention your English and your French language ability in your CV. So then we know you are bilingual, you can speak both language, then we can give you a chance. Okay, good. Now, what about, there's another one that says, what about if my diploma is in French? What? My university diploma is in French. That's fine. That That's is fine. not assessing by us. That is assessing by... Uh, West. Yeah. Yeah, not West. Nursing uh, Association, NNAs. So it's okay. not a problem. It's not okay. a problem at all. Okay. But does, does West work? Do you recognize West? We are well? not recognized West. We, oh. we are recognized for our purpose and immigration purpose, but yeah. uh, nursing association is not recognized as. Ah, okay. That's the thing. Yeah. Wow. Only immigration and our purposes, we are recognizing it. Okay, cool. Nursing That's association a, that... is depending on NNA's advisory report because that shows it's e it's uh, their previous education from uh, outside Canada is equal to Canadian standards. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, here's a question for 
for lucky mm -hmm. is is it possible for an international nurse i guess registered nurse okay to be to be employed as a psw and to come to new brunswick before starting the, uh, the license procedure yes if they have received their pr yes they can start as a psw then they can do their licensing and i can help them to get a job here in uh, horizon but they should have oh. immigration piece done because okay so what if they don't if they don't i'm not uh, we cannot rec uh, we cannot support them mm -hmm. other than if they have received government support if they have received the government support through provincial nominee of course we are hiring them okay here's here's a question this one is in french I think I know what that means, but what I'm going to do it right now is, sorry, I'm going to cheat a little bit because, uh, like I said, I want to make sure that I, I totally understand this uh, question. And uh, so that, you know, give me a sec here. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, good. That's exactly what I thought. So the question is exactly what you just said is I am, I am a registered nurse. Uh, what organizations will accept will accept applications from people abroad that are that that's not a permanent resident or citizen like you know foreign what, national what organizations meant like employers that she's yes. asking yeah in canada are there any are there any organizations any provinces uh, that's actually willing to consider applications from international we are we are Excuse considering you. certainly not not we are the regional health authority in new brunswick as i told earlier we are uh, we are governing all the uh, healthcare sector in new brunswick the same time new brunswick has resident uh, resident villas and nursing homes so yeah. they are supporting the candidates as a psw they can come they can search nursing homes and apply to them as well but other than if they're not receiving government support to come here as a provincial nominee or PR I cannot support them as a PSW but if they have RN license from New Brunswick as a nursing association I can certainly support them to through even immigration okay I'm going to ask you this very hypothetical question and for all of you listening out there Listen to this carefully because it might work for you. <laughs> Supposedly, I'm an international educated nurse, uh, say a registered nurse in, let's just say um, in India, just, okay. just for example, I'm a licensed in India. Mm -hmm. And I would like to register in MBCC nursing course, mm -hmm. New Brunswick Community College nursing course. So I will come to New Brunswick as an international student. student. Mm -hmm. And while I'm here, I will be entitled to work permit. Yes. Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, that wouldn't that be the fastest way to get a job here in New Brunswick or in Canada in general? Yes, that's the fastest fastest way because if they are married, the spouse can get the work, open work permit as well. And once they're here in NBCC, uh, they can join with us and do a casual job. 20 hours per week, they can work. After that, they finish their graduation. And after they got their RN license from the New Brunswick Nursing Association, we can directly offer them. Even they finish their program until they're getting licensed, we can help them uh, to come here as the full-time permanent position as a patient care attendant. Okay. Thank you, Tarani. Now, for all of you listening out there, I just I just gave you a very, very, I mean, for the one that was saying that you can find a job for listening to our webinar, yes. I just gave you a very legal and viable uh, way to come to Canada and work here in Canada, okay? Even so, I'm telling uh, them to register in this IEN navigation program because we are planning to conduct uh, another uh, career fair in September, and okay. they are planning to go to our Ministry of Health, planning to go to UK and Dubai yes. in coming months. Yeah, we heard. Yeah, yeah. But that, uh, but the thing is, OMB uh, has informed. Must be informed you. Yeah, but yeah. The, the only the only issue is, uh, for people in Cameroon, in Nigeria, in uh, Algeria, in um, 
Côte d'Ivoire or uh-huh. people in India, they have to fly to Dubai and meet with representative there, mm. right? Mm-hmm. So that that that's the only I'm thing. I'm not that's sure the they will conduct online event this year, but they're planning to do in-person events yes. in Dubai yes, and London. Yes. Yeah. And also, I think, I think Paris is also one of the stop too. London, okay. Paris, Dubai. Yeah, I think. I'm not sure. No, I got only information about Dubai and London. Maybe I will go. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, the, and 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 uh, for all we know, all these are all fluid because who knows if there's another outbreak of COVID. Uh, you know, we the, don't the know. Yeah, days. it's even yeah. in the province again. The, there is outbreak going on now in our yeah. province. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, has has New Brunswick uh, mandated the, the the fourth shot, the booster shots yet? To Not everyone? yet. Not okay. yet. Okay. That, that's, a, that's a very, very interesting. I saw yeah. that Ontario has done that one. I saw. Yes. Yes. They announced it yesterday. Yeah. Uh, obviously, because I don't know if you heard. I don't know if you. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you heard about the Ontario health system, but like. We, no. We, we, we are beyond, beyond the capacity. <laughs> <laughs> they have to beyond shut Beyond the down. capacity. It's good. Yeah, yeah, we they had to shut down a few hospitals, emergency uh, same facility. Same case in New Brunswick. Same case because of the outbreak. We have closed all our most of our emergencies because of this issue. I received the memo in the morning as well to be aware because we have to anyway. We have to wear our mask inside the hospital, but they're informing us to do the hand hygiene oh. and always try to wear our mask out outside in a crowded oh my. place. Yeah, yeah. the the mask The mask recommendation is back now. Yeah, recommendation, but it's not mandatory like before. No, yeah, no, they won't. They won't. They won't because the yeah. um, the uh, the impact on the economy is just the government cannot afford another shutdown. Yes, I feel yeah. like that, but it's yeah. not very uh critical like this time. It's normally like flu symptoms. Yes. Yes. Well, that's because majority of Canadians already have some oh, yeah, some shots already, right? Sure, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. I'm a medical laboratory technician. Mm-hmm. Um, by the way, is medical laboratory technician also it, it is also licensed in New Brunswick? Yes, regulated, correct? yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So it is a regulated occupation in Canada to Gabrielle. Yes, it is. It is a regulated uh, occupation. In it, it, I guess if it's if it's regulated in New Brunswick, it's a regulated in Canada, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. It is New Brunswick yeah. and Canada both. Yeah. Uh, they have to go through New Brunswick. Uh, we do have a medical uh, lab technologies uh, regulated body. Then, if they contacted them, they will tell how to get the license to international educated person. Yeah. So then, if you have the license please reach out to us through Carrier Inbox. So my colleague uh, will get in touch with you how to do the interview and how you we can support you through the uh, immigration. Perfect. So Gabriel, you, you heard that, right? Uh, just uh, get in touch with uh, Tirani and then she'll be able to help you. So, yeah. wow. Thank you very much, Tirani. That's, that, that's very, very helpful. So there's a lot of questions here. And of course, Gabriel, you could also... Um, if you could, like I mentioned, is a, invest a little bit and then reg- enroll in one of the NBCC Program. you know, Program. programs Yeah, for lab technician. Or, yeah. or it doesn't have to be NBCC. It could be any colleges in Ontario as well. Because once you graduate, it will be recognized in, in New Brunswick, correct? Yes, we have to only the transfer the license from Ontario to New Brunswick. That's yes. the only yeah. matter because I have seen a lot of people from Ontario is moving from Ontario to New Brunswick only the purpose of them to get the PR because yeah. Ontario couldn't support them. So they are moving here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about uh, uh, LMIA, Labor Market um, Impact Assessment? Has uh, this, this has a new, has a Horizon done, done that? We are having a LMI exemption because of the healthcare requirement. Oh, we are not okay. supporting through LMI. We have oh. exemption for that. Okay, Sandrine, did you hear that? 
the uh, the the health sector or uh, Horizon have an exemption on the LMIA. Okay, so uh, please uh, get in touch with uh, get in touch with uh, Tarani. Now, folks, we just open up the uh, the survey. Please take next 30, 40 seconds and complete the survey. It is extremely, I cannot stress enough how, ex, how important it is for us to see, hear your feedback, because it is with your feedback that we, we know uh, what to, uh, well, it is with your feedback. That's why we invited uh, Horizon here. So, so we want to continue to hear your feedback so that we will continue to find find, uh, invite uh, employers and of course the topic, employment topic, that's of your interest. Now, um, uh, here's a question from Chame is, I'm a French speaking international nurse. I did my equivalence with West and I want to know, see there, this is why I see that. They all do their equivalence with West, mm. but yeah. And I want to know which side do international do international recruitment. Um, can you explain a little bit again? Because people always get their equivalents from West. Yeah, but that's not uh, as I told earlier. That's not the thing that we are accepting. They have to do their NNAs uh, advisory report, then send it to uh, New Brunswick Nursing Association. After they got the license from the New Brunswick Nursing Association, please reach to us. So as an employer, we can support you through immigration as well. Otherwise, I have shared a year navigation a government of New Brunswick email address here. Please yes. send an email to them. They will send you a survey. So register with them. They are conducting frequently uh, job fairs and issuing provincial nominations. So that because last time we have given, uh, we have conducted uh, a program for 300, empl uh, 300 candidates and we have issued mm -hmm. around 150 nominations for them. Okay. So you could be have a chance that time as well. So then you can come, of course, as a PSW and get your license mm -hmm. later on if you have a provincial nomination. Okay. Um, here's a question for Uda. And Huda actually uh, reminded us, please read her question. So I'm going to read her question. And this is actually very relevant to you, Tarani, is yeah. I'm from Morocco working as clinical study manager and will move to New Brunswick as permanent resident. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. Please, do I have a chance to join Horizon? Yes, of course. You have a chance. Please send your CV. Are you here already or you're coming uh, when you're coming? Uh, I think I think Huda, Huda, are you currently still in Morocco or are you in New Brunswick already? Oh, coming, coming in September. September, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can send your CV to our careers inbox. Then my colleague will get in touch with you because if you, I feel like if you are from Morocco, you can speak both language very fluently. So you will be having a chance to work with us as a. Uh, in administrative department, even in health records or as an assigning uh, clerk positions, we do have several positions for you. Okay, and Tarani, here's a here's a good question: Does Horizon does Horizon hire accounting professionals or IT professionals? Right now, I'm not sure we do have because uh, we are already having a set of uh, group here. But it's still, you can apply and see. I'm not preventing you to apply, but I cannot give you a piece of <laughs> advice in that case. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, here's a good question. Boy, we have a quite a few, uh, quite a few uh, listener from Morocco here. Is uh, mm. uh, if someone is a licensed pharmacist in Morocco, yeah. obviously to come to Canada, it's it's a long it's process the same to way. be a pharmacist. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. But can same can, way. can can uh, Bushra work as a pharmacist assistant? No, if if she has a yes support from immigration, she can come and work as a pharmacy assistant until she's getting her license done yeah. here. But if mm. she don't have a uh, uh, like uh, support from immigration, uh, we cannot support her to come uh, here from, through immigration because you know whoever coming here in Canada they should have uh, legal terms. If they are coming as a visitor, they cannot work. Yeah. 
of course, <laughs> you could always register with the NBCC and enroll in their pharmacist. He's promoting assist. NBCC here. <laughs> well, or any any community college and, and then enroll in the uh, pharmacist assistant uh, program, you know, and then you get the work permit. So, um, no, but I mean, it's like... Um, yeah, NBCC, Alton, Eastern, yeah. I think they have lots of uh, colleges here in... Uh, New Brunswick, you can get, yeah. uh, just check if you can get the postgraduate work permit before you uh, enroll in the program, because that is mandatory to you to secure a job. You should have at least three years to get the PR pathway. Yeah. Okay. Someone with a uh, uh, license from uh, UAE mm -hmm. and also from Qatar Health Council. Mm -hmm. Are, are there are there any equivalent to MB license? No. Uh, is there any? No. Okay. No, because I worked in UAE previously. You know that's not equivalent to here. Oh. It's a very easy process in okay. uh, UAE because I did it. I already know how it's. It's within two months we are solving the problems there, even less than two months. But here it's very lengthy process. Only getting an NAS advisory report will take up to eighteen months. That's why we are encouraging all the candidates do your homework before you come here so it's easy for you to get the job at the same time it's easy for you to uh, secure your immigration uh, piece as well because here in our, our our province we are in a huge demand for healthcare workers if mm -hmm. you are a nurse if you are a pharmacist if you are a allied health technician so you can go to your regulated body in new brunswick and send them an email and ask how I will register, how I will get the license. So they will give you information step-by-step step how to do that. Once you have secured that part, please reach to us with the information that I have the license, I'm registered here in New Brunswick. I want to come to work with Horizon, support me. So we will support you for sure. Okay. Uh, is there a minimal standard on the IELTS score or the, there's another one that says EC, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, For us, we don't EC. have like that uh, requirement, but for the immigration, you might have that. In, in the regulated bodies also, they have certain requirements. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now there's people asking for procedure. So I was strongly, can you please type your uh, whatever email that you want to type for people to get in touch with you? Uh, uh, for so me? That, yeah, I did so, so people, already, but I will send again. Yeah, yeah, but the, you did already. It's probably like uh, uh, yeah, hundred did, messages I, ago. <laughs> <laughs> now I will do. This is my email address. Also, I will put it okay. here. I highly ad I advise you to send me the relevant uh, CVs only because otherwise my inbox will be full today. <laughs> Yeah, well, the, the, and next week. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until and next week. Like, and it, it never fails, okay? While, while I'm talking yeah. to you, I already receive uh, seven LinkedIn connection requests already. So oh. it happens uh, every time. So I'm, I'm, I won't be surprised if people start trying to connect with you on LinkedIn. Especially, yeah. you have a very interesting uh, story because you actually came from UAE, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I worked there for like around 11 years. Yes, okay. Uh, I worked for two huge hospitals in uh, UAE. Uh, so last uh, employment was with my clinic. So okay. after that, I moved this part. And, but you were always in HR, right? Yes, I was in the HR and okay. recruitment. I, okay. Earlier, I was in the physician recruitment. After that, I moved to nursing and allied health. Oh my God! So you you used to you used to talking to people internationally. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't even goodness. remember how many candidates I have hired so far in uh, UAE, and the same I'm doing here as well. Oh my God! We we have to invite you to come back just to share your story. You know, like a little, <laughs> like a you know, like a like a, they call it the uh, the the fire fire fireplace chat you know where we have a little <laughs> chat you know it's a, you can share your story with our listener i'm sure anybody out there that's interesting do that uh to hear that let, let us know you know so that we'll we'll make arrangement with Tarani because this is a definitely because obviously her journey to come to canada 
it will be served as a, I just say her successful journey to come to Canada. It's definitely something that you probably all want to hear about and perhaps oh, even yeah. ask her some questions because you are probably in the same shoes right now. Shoes. So, yes, yeah. exactly. I started my, this process is 2017 and I finally got the invitation to apply. It's 2019. Oh my so, God. So, yeah, even though I received my PR in 2020 and I couldn't fly because of this COVID uh, border closure and I, my PR got expired. So that was like, it's a long story. <laughs> I'm just telling him in a brief way. Yeah, so you know, yeah. then it's expired and they took a lot of time to renew it. So I yeah. landed here 2021. So that yeah. was but a huge... Know, yeah, there's some other stories where um, people originally from India, they're working in UAE and they thought they were going to get the, uh, the, the, the paper. So they already plan like in terms of uh, like submitted their resignation from their, to their work, to their employer. Mm -hmm. And the minute you submit your resignation, you, you, you only have a certain amount of time to leave the country. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, no, I know did. I know did that actually I'm not from India. I'm from Sri Lanka. Okay. So you you okay. thought I'm from India? <laughs> uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm just saying. But no, I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm giving you a real case scenario. No, yeah, that... I, I know did that because uh, there was like only three months of time for us to apply, yeah. but yeah. we checked with uh, and we received advisory from uh, advisory uh, letter from the embassy to not to travel. So because of that, uh, we thought we are not handing over our resignation. So we let it to expire because we couldn't, we, we don't want to take a risk of our job and leave. If, if we are doing yeah. that, we don't have visa to come back to UAE. So we have to go back to Sri Lanka. Exactly. So we stayed and we renamed yeah. it. Yeah. There is You're a, yes. smart. After we gave the resignation, they will immediately cancel our visa. So that's yeah, and then, and then and then this client actually have to go back to India and wait for the the. Uh, yes, the I have to go back to my home country, and then we don't have a job, so that's yeah. unfortunate. So I don't want to happen. Even all my candidates, I'm telling them, who are coming here, don't hand over your resignation until you receive a stamp visa in your passport, yeah. because we don't know what will happen. We don't know this. Uh, that was never happened earlier, right? This yeah. pandemic issue, it was like closed from March to, I think, next year, June. It was, border yeah. was closed. Yeah, it's, so, it's, it, it has never happened. Happened in earlier, yes, in history. Yeah, yeah. This, this whole, <laughs> this whole thing changed the entire, changed. our lifestyle. Anyway. Yes. Rani, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for your time and for your wonderful insight and for sharing your personal stories with all our listeners. I'm sure this is a, a great, great, great session. So uh, I, I, we're a little bit over time. So what, what I want to do is I want to give you 30 seconds to close today's session. Thank you all uh, for listening to me <laughs> uh, and listening about uh, Horizon Health Network. And I'm, I'm wishing you all to able to come here to Canada. Please, I, as I inform, if you are a healthcare worker, please uh, go to New Brunswick province and register through our regulated body. At the same time, I have shared the welcome and, and be a link. There are lots of programs happening through the province. You can go through and uh, see that. And we all already uh, registered with that one. Uh, if you have done your uh, educational assessment and ILTS, register with these uh, programs. So it's easy for you to get a chance to come here to this beautiful province. Yes. And uh, for all of you that's listening right now is uh, by all means, tune in next week. Uh, Invest Ottawa will be presenting. Invest Ottawa is one of the top uh, startup incubators here in Canada, and they represent numerous number of companies that's looking for uh, talented professionals from across the world. Okay, so next Thursday, and for those of you that's that's um, that um, that's in um, that speaks Mandarin, uh, I will host the next uh, Tuesday session about all about GTA's uh, housing. Given that the, 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 the interest rate has changed now, especially over the past three months, how the interest rate has actually uh, affected the entire housing prices here in 
GTA, Canada's largest province, or oh, or oh, around the world, uh, around the country, I'm sure. Uh, so please tune into that. But I, that presentation will be done entirely in Mandarin. Okay. So and of course, follow us on LinkedIn, Global Talent Alliance Canada, or on Facebook, or send an email to info at g tac ca. On behalf of everyone at GTAC. Tarani and everybody at Horizon Health, I want to thank you all for listening to us. Merci à tous et à la prochaine. Thank you and see you next week. Thank Bye. You. Bye.